Hey everybody, welcome back to Creekside Maples. I'm Tony, and my wife Joni is, I think she's up doing some laundry. But we are so excited. Today is a great day, and we are building a deck to set up our sawmill on. We want to thank you for making it possible for us to finally get a sawmill for our, home, our homestead. Everybody that's supported us, um, every pledge that's comes in, that has come in, um, we appreciate it so very much. And so, we want to get started on getting the deck built because I'm going to set the home, or, or the, yeah, right, the homestead. I'm going to set the sawmill up here on this deck so I'm not bent over milling everything. So what I've done is I've dug some holes down in the ground. They're about three feet down here in Nova Scotia, Canada. It gets cold in the winter, so we have to get the post down below the frost line because if you don't, everything just keeps heaving up and down with the, with the freezing and thawing of the ground. So I've sunk them down um, a little over three feet and I'm putting concrete cement in around them and they're not level on the tops yet this way, but they are level left and right and all that. We'll cut the tops to be level and square once we get everything in place, um, but we're just you want to keep on working here I've got one two three four five uh, done I've got the sixth one squared up and I'm about to pour the concrete in the hole I'm gonna mix it up in the bucket and then we got two more to do I dug all these holes with the hand the uh, hand post digger which was not fun and we're just mixing up some concrete here in the bucket and we'll dump it in around there These posts have to be center to center 26 and 9 sixteenths because that's the width of the deck, uh, the rails on the mill. And so I already dug them. However, they're that far to, I made a mistake, so I'm showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So they're that way too far because I took the measurement from the outside to outside of the rails where rather than the, there's leveling feet on the deck of the sawmill and I needed to take the center of those leveling feet, which is 26 and 9 16 So I have to just cut a little bigger hole on the side. I'm just taking the side off, which isn't too bad. The thing with this ground here, it's all clay. What isn't clay is all rocks and roots. Just great big clumps of clay. There we go. Now let's see if we can get it out of there. Okay. Whew. Holy, that's hot.
Whew. Almost yeah. breakfast time, isn't it? Lunch time. Yeah. Yeah. It's 1225. Well, it's time to have something to eat. Time to get the people some food, huh? You've been looking after the animal. This ground is so level mm -hmm. is ridiculous. It is, I know. <clears throat> well, that looks pretty good right there. Forgot they were there. Once so I get the basin around that. Yep. One more there, and that's it. And then it's go get the six by six time. Good. Woo. Perfect. Camp a little sand just down in the bottom there. Just kind of seed it down there a little better. I want to make sure I get all the concrete off the side of this. Because the last thing I want to do is have to cut through concrete when I cut the tops to level them in. Eh? Really, it's not bad. It doesn't take that long to dig them out, so. <sighs> the only problem with this one is there's a great big rock right down there where I gotta go. So that's gonna create some difficulty.
But folks, it's been a big day getting this first stage of the sawmill um, up and going. This will be the deck, and we'll, if it doesn't rain, it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so I doubt we're going to get anything done. But at least we got our uprights in. They're all solid, and these will have to be cut off. Um, I'll find a level, you know, for the whole thing and cut them off accordingly and get the right height. Make sure that's all done. I brought in all this sand and uh, I thank our neighbor across the road. He has a gravel pit and he uh, let me get this sand for nothing. So I appreciate him so much. So thank you, David. Um, and then Wade, my other neighbor, he helped. Um, he loaded the dump trailer with his tractor, and so I say thank you to Wade as well. And uh, so now, we're just going to level this off. The reason I put sand down is because this ground is so, un it's just so uneven, and it runs downhill. So I want to build it up to be pretty level. But also, when it rains a lot, it can get really muddy and soft in this field. So this way, we'll level it off, we'll bring it up. We have good drainage through the sand, and then I'm going to put crushed rock on top of the sand, and that will give us a good um, area to walk on. And it will make it so much nicer, so much better than just walking through, you know, wet grass or mud, whatever it would be. So I know it's getting dark. It's about 8.30 here at night, and I am tired. I've been at this all day long. I appreciate everybody that, again, has given and donated to the... Um, homestead for the sawmill fund we uh, we are just blown away by the generosity of, of all you beautiful beautiful people that always support us always have our back and always believe in what we're doing and so for that we can't say thank you enough so we're going to call it a, 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 a day um, on this video this is the first installment this is the first video of many to come on the sawmill so this one is a wrap for the day and thanks for watching and again please subscribe if you haven't hit that like button and leave a comment so that uh, the algorithm in YouTube picks it all up and keeps you subscribed to our channel take care everyone God bless and we'll see you right back here for the next uh, part two of the sawmill deck build and then before long we'll be setting the sawmill on it Take care, everybody. God bless. Thanks for watching.